These are the tools you'll need. Cutters and the Phillips head screwdriver to remove the board and the hood. Remove the lid, there's four screws hold the lid on. Right, once you've disconnected your battery and removed your lid, just remove the three screws that hold your circuit board in. Much easier to work. Now this is a bit longer way of doing it, but it's a lot less fiddly than the right way. We need to remove the main plug. It's the widest of all the plugs, which is that one. The other two can stay. Right, the next step is take a pair of cutters, just snip that off. We don't need that anymore. Loosen the big screw that holds all the wires tight. Just loosening, don't pull him off. Just loosen it to that. Just grab the end of your plug and pull your whole plug up through the top. So this is the part you'll be sent. This is the plug end and these are the wires end that'll be connected. Right, we're going to take the ends of our six wires, wrap a little bit of insulation tape around the end and you only need a couple of turns like that and then just break him off. We've taped the end so it's easy to poke through. Making sure we've gone through the nut, just poke it up and just keep pushing and then up into your head unit and it will emerge. Out of head unit you may have to use a pair of pliers to grab it. Leave it till about two inches, and if you tighten up the nut now, you won't forget to do it later. It's only thumb tight. Next thing is remove the tape. With your plug assembly, you'll receive this small black plastic clip. The ends of each individual wire from the new plug assembly clip in to this little black plastic clip. In terms of the wiring order, uh, it's important that you orient the clip so that you have got there's two black plastic sections visible uh, and the wires actually have little tabs on them that fit and lock into place in the little holes in the clip. So it's just a case of lining it up and pushing it in and then you can see the tang appear there in the little box. The important thing is to get the wiring order correct, which is blue, the white, the grey, the brown, the orange, and finally the yellow. Right, just get the head of your plug and make sure it goes back under with all your crimps and comes out on the opposite side to what you've been working on. Plug it back in and then start to reassemble your three screws back into your circuit board. Right, now that you've uh, joined them all together and pushed them down, just put your lid back on, tighten your four screws up and it's done.